Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to eCarC. My name is Eric, and today we're going to be building, or should I say rebuilding, a Tamiya Bigwig. So this is a 1986 big wig. I have it all disassembled, all the parts are cleaned. I did order a new front bumper and some new rear arms because I did find some cracking on the rear arms. Not terrible, it wasn't cracked all the way through, but I figured, you know what, let me just do it right and heat up the screw pins as they go in and make sure these don't get damaged and maybe these will last a lot longer. Anyway, let's get into the build. You don't want to hear me yapping anymore. So sit back and relax and enjoy my build, and we'll talk about this surprisingly good Tamiya at the end.
All right, so this is what we end up with here. This is our completed chassis, and this has been one of my favorite rebuilds or vintage restorations that I've done. And it really surprised me because, you know, it's not an astute, it's not a dinosaur, you know, it's not a, an old monster beetle. No, it's a big wig, which I kind of feel like gets lost in the mix sometimes. You know, it was their 10th anniversary, and they did kind of do some special things on this. Some things are great, some things not so great, but in the end, it's a Tamiya. All Tamiyas have their flaws. It's not a perfect Tamiya out there. And I really enjoyed building this and really enjoyed, you know, learning about it. So here's the final result. As you can see, I actually went with a modern electronic uh, package here with uh, a modern receiver and a Hobbywing 1060. I'll probably put a Deans on this because I'm going to run LiPo or just use an adapter. I am using the original Technigold motor, which some people might not want to run because this thing is actually in pristine condition. I mean, like, like new. It looks like new. So I'm going to run it anyway, and I already did. Okay, just a little secret. I already ran it. Uh, not in the dirt. I ran it outside on the pavement, and I put a 17-tooth pinion. It's the largest one you can put in here with this very torquey motor and a lipo or even the 8.4 volt nimpax this thing is quick it's responsive it's fast i love it anyway there's a couple things that are not 100 percent complete uh, let me get these things here these steering boots these are like plastic now they're not flexible at all and I'm gonna to try to restore the rubber on these by soaking them in alcohol and wintergreen oil, which I heard works very well. So I'll probably do that. I need to get the flexibility back because these are not the easiest to come by. And even if you can find them, I don't know what the condition will be from them sitting around. So those are the boots for the steering rack. And the steering rack right now is great. Like I have the boots off and it actually performs really well. Like it, it steers great, there's plenty of you know turning. The turning radius is, is, is really good and I have no problems with it. You put these boots on and it limits everything. You know, it, it bogs down the servo and I put a really strong Savox servo in there. Not, you know, not a super strong one because I'd probably break something if I put these in there. And, you know, it would be forcing it to move. But it's got plenty of power, plenty of speed. It's a perfect servo for this. And I did take out the original electronics. I have all the original electronics still. I'm gonna put them aside and save it um, because this buggy I'm keeping. I did start the body. I'm not gonna show that. I'll make that another video. I did, as you can see, I did kind of paint these tips black. I'm not a fan of this whole thing being yellow. I should have gone with a flat black, make it look a little more realistic, but that's okay. I didn't have flat black at the time, so I went with just the gloss black. And some people definitely, like, you know, they make these motors, these fake motors. They make them look a little bit look more like regular cylinder heads and they put like um, some cables coming out of them to make it you know look like spark plug spark plug leads and um, you know I'm not gonna do that. I mean it looks cool like that if I was gonna make this just a shell queen. I mean maybe I will one day. You know I also thought it would be cool to take these Mooncraft wheels and kind of do the lettering inside where it says Mooncraft in a certain color. But that would look great too but it might be a little more difficult for my skill level i can't wait to run this a little bit more probably when it gets warm out again right now we're kind of you know kind of in winter and here in new york it's it's going to actually snow this weekend we're going to have some rain and snow and it's going to be cold so there's no time for rc outside right now so right now i'm just going to be working on my projects i still have my big bear to finish and i have a few other new builds to do and I'm trying to think, I have other projects in the works too. Uh, I have a TTC gearbox I want to take out of a, a madcap that I bought and make a video on that. But anyway, that's a big wig. Hope you guys like it. Please give me a thumbs up if you can. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Thanks for watching everyone, I appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next video.